Everybody thinks this is a tough man sport. This is not a tough man sport. This is a thinking man sport. A tough man is gonna get hurt real bad in this sport. Everyone says, I wish I was in your shoes. The hundreds of people that wish they were in my shoes don't know the tenth of it. If they were in my shoes, they would cry like a baby. When you have something in life that you want to accomplish greatly, you have to be willing to give up your happiness. I've lost all my sensitivity as far as being embarrassed, being shy, you just have to lose that. Discipline, doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. These books ain't window dressing. I think Machiavelli's the most sophisticated writer outside of Shakespeare. Way ahead of his time. Such a manipulative person. Everything he accomplished, he did by kissing ass. I'm gonna make sure you talk about me, and your grandkids, and kids after that gonna know about me, your great-grandkids will say, wow, wasn't that a bizarre individual? One of my friends once saw another guy's criminal record and said, look, this guy is a born troublemaker, just a loser. I had to tell him, no, that's my record, and it doesn't include my juvenile history. Y'all guys know what I do, I put people in body bags. I'll fight anybody my trainer puts me in with because I'm confident I can beat any fighter in the world. If anybody can see I'm almost a master at evading punches coming at me. I just have this thing inside me that wants to eat and conquer. Maybe it's egotistical, but I have it in me. I don't want to be a tycoon. I just want to conquer people and their souls. I had to persevere because this was my life. This championship, this was the stuff I dreamt of all my life, and I wasn't gonna be denied. You can't be disturbed by anything. There's no emotion involved. You can't feel sorrow. You can't feel pity. There's nothing you feel. The job has to be done. Whatever you want, especially when you're striving to be the best in the world at something, there'll always be disappointments and you can't be emotionally tied to them, cause they'll break your spirit. It's interesting that you put me in the league with those illustrious fighters, Muhammad Ali, Joe Lewis, Jack Johnson, but I've proved since my career I've surpassed them as far my popularity. I'm the biggest fighter in the history of the sport. If you don't believe it, check the cash register. I can quit boxing now and practically go into any kind of business and I'll be successful just as well as I was in boxing. It doesn't faze me what anyone says about me. It doesn't matter what anyone says about me. I'm a totally different entity to what other people think. 
Michael and Tyson are two different people. I'm Tyson here. We live in a society where we basically live and strive on what people think about us. We're more visual people, so what we see is basically what we believe, which is not necessarily true. These pigeons have been living with each other for 10 or 15 years, but when I throw feed down, they kill each other to get it, and it's the same with the fighters. We love and respect each other, but we need that money. I'm sorry I let everybody down. I'm fighting just to pay my bills. I don't have the stomach for this anymore. I don't have the desire for it. I feel bad for the people. I wish they could get their money back. If they don't have that extrematic personality, you can never understand how a guy can blow 300 or 400 million dollars. If I have to live at the top of the world, I also have to live at the bottom of the ocean. I don't know how to live in the middle of life. Unfortunately, sometimes you can't have fun accomplishing your goals. Sometimes people don't have the determination, the will, the steadfastness, the tenacity, they give in under the slightest struggle. It's good to be successful and have financial status, but if you're only gonna live for the money, you're only gonna reach a certain status, and I'm in there for greatness and peace of mind. We want to believe that we're different than the average guy that's working 9 to 5, that our thoughts are different than his. Our inspirations and desires are different than his, that's why we succeed. And it didn't cost we want to believe we're different, but he just didn't get the break that we had, or he wasted it on something else. My power is discombobulating, devastating. I could feel his muscle tissues collapse under my force. It's ludicrous these mortals even attempt to enter my realm. I think the reality of prison is you don't get anything unless you want it in there. Whatever happens to you in prison, this is what you asked for. Nothing happens to you if you don't give that vibe. I'm a dreamer. I have to dream and reach for the stars, and if I miss a star then I grab a handful of clouds. I don't understand. Why people would want to get rid of pigeons? They don't bother no one. Another thing that freaks me out is time. Time is like a book. You have a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's just a cycle. Everyone has a plan till they get punched in the mouth.